Werner job listing secret. Let's talk about it. For those of you who are looking to join Werner Enterprise and you've been looking on either their website or you're using the Werner app, there is a secret to the job listing. A lot of the job positions that you're seeing out there that are outside of Dollar Tree, Dollar General, or over the road, those positions are usually saved for drivers who have been driving for them for a long time. They're available, but they're not readily available for students or drivers who have experience who are just coming in now. Those are the positions that they basically, they place them on a carrot stick and they're constantly telling you, oh, if you work for this long or if you do this for this amount of time or if you work a little harder, we'll, we'll give you these positions. Don't worry. We'll, we'll give you these positions. Just keep working harder. Keep working faster. We're working really hard and really fast to get you the position you want. And essentially what ends up happening is they get you to work harder and faster and for a longer period of time on whatever account they have you on. Usually it's going to be a Dollar Tree or Dollar General. They'll start to give you expectations like, hey, if you go this fast, we may be able to get you on the account. Hey, if you stay on the account for two years, three years, four years, we can, we can get you the account and don't worry, we'll get you we'll make sure we get you a spot. The truth about these positions are that they will play the whole carrot on a stick with you until you get fed up and realize that you've been running after a carrot that you can't even reach. And once you have the realization, once you have the epiphany that it isn't something that you can have unless you grow a backbone or you start mouthing off to them, you're not going to get it. So what I'm saying is, let's say you've been working a Dollar Tree or Dollar General account for about six months. There's a chance that if you play the pullback game and you say, you know what, I can see that I'm not going to get the position and I no longer want to work this Dollar Tree or Dollar General account. I'm basically going to be on the market for a new position at a new company. Suddenly, all of a sudden, as if it was a miracle the position is now available and all of a sudden they have a spot for you and they can get you on the account. That's how these job listing positions, that's how they're really used. They're just used as carrots on a stick. And when you get fed up and when you're about to take off, all of a sudden that's their trump card to keep you in the company. That's their trump card to keep you around when you were just about to leave because you got fed up that you were being lied to the entire time. Outside of that, guys, I do want to give you a warning on the whole job listing situation. If right now you're with the company or you still intend to join Warner Enterprise, if there's one thing I'm going to warn you not to do is if you want to switch to another position outside of Dollar Tree or Dollar General, Whatever you do, don't tell your fleet manager, don't tell your dispatch. The reason being is because they have no power over switching you out of your account. The only account that they have power over is the account you're on that you're with them. If you ever tell your fleet manager or your dispatcher that you're looking to switch out of the account, they're going to make sure to give you all the runs that nobody else wants. Because they figure, well, why are we going to give him good runs if he's going to leave our position anyways? And they're going to end up giving you all the worst runs. Another thing is they're going to play as if they have power over driver placement, which is the only people who have power over your job listing. If you're going to switch off, you talk to driver placement. You don't talk to your fleet manager or dispatcher. However, when you mention it to them, they are going to start to pretend and act as if they have power over job listing. They're going to claim, yeah, 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 we can get you that position. We just need your work faster. We just need your work harder. And then whenever they see you getting frustrated or anything like that, guess what? They'll say, hey, we, we have a driver in that job listing that you want. We have a driver that 
is about to leave. They're about to leave the company. They get you thinking that you're actually getting closer to receiving the job position that you're actually looking to switch into. The whole point of them doing this is to feel like they have control and power over you. They figure if we can make the driver believe that we have power over his job listing, then we can make sure he's on his best behavior. We can say and do whatever we want to this driver. We can talk poorly to him. We can power trip him. He's just going to take it, be a good little driver, and drive and do whatever we tell him to do. And we're going to give him the worst runs. And he's just going to run those runs because he feels that we have power over the position he wants. And all it does is it becomes like this false leverage that they make you believe they have over you. But the reality is they have no power over job listing. The only power they have is to make your life a living hell if you tell them that you're looking to switch out of the Dollar Tree and Dollar General. If you want to switch your precision, do it through driver placement. Don't do it through your fleet manager. All right, guys, that's everything. If you like the content, like, comment, and subscribe.